University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, two more teams are at the start of a journey which might last several months over numerous matches and which could culminate with them lifting the Champions Trophy to deafening cheers. Or it could all end tonight. <laughs> now, Trinity College Cambridge was founded by Henry VIII in the mid-16th century and it's now one of the university's biggest and richest colleges. Its 17th century great court famously tempts students to try to run around it in less time than it takes the college's clock to strike 12. That is when they're not spending time in the library designed by Sir Christopher Wren. A long list of alumni includes Isaac Newton, the philosopher Francis Bacon, the poets Marvell, Dryden, Byron and Tennyson, and more recently the actor Eddie Redmayne, the comedian and presenter Mel Gedroich, and of course the teams who won this competition in 1995 and 2014. With an average age of 21 and representing around 1,000 students, Let's meet the Trinity Cambridge team. Hi, I'm Matthew Kingston. I'm from Green Island in County Antrim, and I study physics. Hi, I'm Owen Petrie. I'm from Cloud Newith in North Wales, and I'm studying for a PhD in applied maths. And this is their captain. I'm Maya Bale. I'm from North London, and I'm reading English. Hi, I'm Rahul Dev. I'm from Chiswick in West London, and I'm studying history. Bristol University dates back to the observation of the 19th century headmaster John Percival of Clifton College that the provinces lacked a university culture. Benjamin Jowett, master of Balliol College, Oxford, took up the cause and won the support of the local Fry family of chocolate fame and later of the Wills family of tobacco notoriety, which helped secure the Royal Charter in 1909. Alumni include the actors Emily Watson, Simon Pegg and David Walliams, the commentator Will Hutton and the broadcaster Sue Lawley. With an average age of 22 and representing over 21,000 students, let's meet the Bristol team. Hi, I'm Oliver Bowes from Market Harborough in Leicestershire and I'm studying music. Hi, I'm Kirsty Biggs. I'm originally from Southampton and I'm doing a PhD in mathematics. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Sam Hosgood. I'm from Bedford and I do chemical physics. Hi, I'm Dom Hewitt. I'm from Stroud in Gloucestershire, and I'm studying English. Well, the rules are constant as the Northern Star, so it's ten points for starter questions, which are solo efforts, answer on the buzzer, and bonuses are worth 15, which are team efforts. Now, fingers on the buzzers, here's your first starter for ten. What natural phenomenon links a 1915 novel by D.H. Lawrence a 1998 work by Richard Dawkins, ah. whose title... Bristol Hewitt. Rainbow. Rainbow is right, yes. <laughs> Three questions on a number for the first set of bonuses, Bristol. What nickname did its publicist, Emil Gutmann, give to Mahler's Symphony No. 8 in E-flat major, first performed in full in Munich in 1910? Titan. No, it was the Symphony of a Thousand. Garibaldi's expedition of the Thousand landed at the port of Marsala in May 1860 and later led to the overthrow of which kingdom of southern Italy? Naples. Naples? No, it's the kingdom of the two Sicilies. Uh, and named after the British Major General Wolf Island, is the largest of the group known as the Thousand Islands, located within which river? Thousand Islands, Amazon, Canada, AKC, Yukon, or Yukon? No, it's the St Lawrence oh, River in Canada. Canada. Ten points for this. Thank God I should have lived to witness a day in which England is willing to give 20 million sterling for the abolition of slavery. These were the words of which parliamentarian shortly before his death in 1833? Bristol Bowes. Uh, Pitt, the younger. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Trinity? Trinity Dev. William Wilberforce? Correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses, Trinity College, on dogs in children's literature. Firstly, which eponymous dog features in the 1956 novel by the US author Fred Gibson? Adopted as a stray by the young Travis Coates, he saves Travis's family on numerous occasions before his death after contracting rabies. Oh, I don't know. She's a girl. 
Lassie. No, it's old yellow. Secondly, 1963 saw the first of a series of children's books by Norman Bridwell, the hero of which soon became a mascot for the Scholastic Books Publishing Company. What is the name of the big red dog? Clifford. Correct. In the first of the Harry Potter books, what is the name of the giant three-headed dog guarding the Philosopher's Stone in Hogwarts Fluffy. School? Fluffy is correct, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What non-orientable surface was the form of a conveyor belt patented by the US industrialist B.F. Goodrich? Bristol Biggs. Mobius Strip. Mobius Strip is right, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on physics. Firstly, GONG, the Global Oscillation Network Group, is a programme studying the internal structure and dynamics of what body? Um... What body? Uh, the sun. Correct. <laughs> CHIME, the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, is designed to study the traces of primordial cosmic waves in hydrogen gas by detecting what form of electromagnetic radiation? Microwave? Uh, it's radio waves. Oh. And finally, HARP, the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, has been used to transmit radio waves to study the behaviour of what specific region of the Earth's atmosphere? Um, many, what, uh, the stratosphere. No, it's the ionosphere, the specific term I wanted. Right, ten points for this. J.D. Salinger's The Catcher in the Rye refers to which of Dickens's characters in its <laughs> opening sentence? Bristol Hosgood. David Copperfield. Correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on the cricketer, Hanif Mohammed, who died in August 2016. In 1958, Hanif made 337 for Pakistan against the West Indies in what was the longest test innings. For how many minutes did he bat? You can have 10% either way. Seven hundred. No, it's nine hundred and seventy, so I can't accept that. Hanif had three brothers who played Test cricket for Pakistan. Name any one of the three. All of Pakistan's first one hundred and one Tests featured at least one of the four brothers. Mohsin. Nominate Hewitt. Mohsin. Uh, no, they were Wazir, Mushtaq and Sadiq. Mm. And finally, in 1959, Hanif scored 499 for Karachi against Bahawalpa. This was the highest first-class individual score until 1994, when it was broken by which West Indian? Brian Lara. Brian Lara? Correct, yes. <laughs> OK, I think it's time for a picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see an artist's impression of the entrance to a public lavatory. For ten points, I want you to identify the language in which the signs are written. Trinity Petrie. Welsh. It is Welsh, yes. The signs, of course, said men and women. For your picture bonuses, you'll see toilet signs in three more languages. Again, in each case, I simply want you to identify the language. Firstly, for five, this Mediterranean language. Turkish. Turkish is correct. Secondly, this European language. Hungarian. Maybe. Hungarian. No, it's Albanian. And finally, a European language. Could that be like? That could be like Hungarian, because it's weird accent. Or I don't know. It looks too much. It looks too like Latinate to be Hungarian because it's got like mm, a funny. Yeah. Um, could it be like Macedonian? Macedonian? No, it's Romanian. Ten points for this. What collective name has been given to these figures? The first carried a bow and was given a crown. The second was given a sword. The third... Bristol Bones. Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. That's correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on potatoes in art, Bristol. <laughs> Largely abstract, although derived from a female figure, Potato is a work of 1928 by which Spanish artist? Born in Barcelona in 1893, he's commonly associated with the Surrealist movement. Dali. Dali? 
No, it wasn't. It was Miro. Mm. The potato harvest is an oil painting of 1885 by which French artist? One of the founders of the Barbizon School, his other notable works include The Angelus. Marshal Duchamp. No, it's Mie. And finally, The Potato Eaters is an oil painting of 1885 by which artist who was born in Zundert in the Netherlands? Dutch. Rembrandt. 1885. Too late. No, it's too late. Um, Vermeer, maybe. Vermeer? No. <laughs> in 1885, no, it's Van Gogh. Oh. Ten points for this. Answer promptly. Name any two of the four chemical elements discovered by William Hyde Wollaston and Smithson Tennant in the early years of the 19th century. All four are in the platinum group. Bristol Hosegood. Iridium and palladium. Correct. The other two are osmium and rhodium. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on films about writer's block, Bristol. The 1987 film Throw Mama from the Train starred Billy Crystal as a creative writing teacher suffering from writer's block and marked the directorial debut of which actor? <laughs> These bonuses are not going well. Tom Hanks? No, it's Danny DeVito. Mm. Secondly, for five points, the 1991 Palm d'Or winner Barton Fink, in which the eponymous playwright suffers from an acute block, was born out of the Coen brothers' struggle with the making of which film of 1990? It stars Gabriel Byrne and John Turturro. I think of Bowski, is that right? Yes. No, that's... Yeah. Are you sure? No, I don't have John Turturro. Right. I think that might be that. Right. The Big Lebowski? No, I think that was later. It's Miller's Crossing. And finally, the 2004 film Secret Window stars Johnny Depp as a blocked writer and is an adaptation of the novella Secret Window, Secret Garden, by which US author? Secret Garden, Francis Hutchin Burnett, maybe, mm -hmm. but no. No, it's um, Truman Capote. Truman Capote? No, it's Stephen King. Oh, yeah. Ten points for this. The works of the US author Walter Tevis include the novels The Hustler and The Colour of Money, as well as which science fiction novel of 1963? It formed the basis of a film of 1976, directed by Nicholas Rogue and starring David Bowie. Trinity Kingston. The Man Who Fell to Earth. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses this time are on Lloyd George's coalition government, Trinity. Who was appointed Chancellor of the Exchequer in December 1916? Born in Canada, he was briefly Prime Minister in 1922 and 23. Bonalore. 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 Bonalore is right. Secondly, the half-brother of a future Prime Minister. Who was Secretary of State for India from 1915 to 17? He was a joint winner of the 1925 Nobel Peace Prize for his role in bringing about the Locarno Pact. Um, Locarno Pact. Austin um, Chamberlain. Austin Chamberlain. Correct. Which former Prime Minister became Foreign Secretary in December 1916? The following year, he issued a declaration in favour of a Jewish national homeland in Palestine. Balfour. Balfour. It was Arthur James Balfour, yes. <laughs> you knew the lead, and we're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of classical music. Ten points if you can name the composer. Bristol Bowes. Mozart. Mozart's Horn Concerto is correct. <laughs> You're going to hear three more pieces of music in which horns feature prominently. In each case, simply name the composer. First, the composer of this piece. Haydn? It is Haydn, his Horn Concerto in D. And secondly... It is Gustav Mahler, <laughs> Symphony No. 1, and finally this. Bach? It is Bach, yes, the Brandenburg Symphony No. 1.
Right, ten points for this. Which decade saw the completion of St Anselm's Monologion, the Seljuk defeat of the... Bizar Bristol Bones. 1080. No. Uh, you lose five points. The Seljuk defeat of the Byzantine Empire at the Battle of Manzikert, Emperor Henry IV's penance at Canossa and the revolt of the Earls against William the Conqueror. Trinity Dev. The 11th. No, it's the 1070s, so we're going to take another starter question now. What two-word collective name is given to Min Taka, Al Nilam and Al Nitak? They form part of a constellation named after a figure sometimes identified as a son of Poseidon. Bristol Hosegood. Orion's Belt. Correct. <laughs> you get three questions on the Victorian writer and illustrator Kate Greenaway. A noted illustration by Greenaway depicts angelic children following which distinctive figure, the title character of a narrative poem by Robert Browning? The Pied Piper. Correct. In the 1880s, Greenaway became a protégé of which leading art critic? One biographer notes that her images of young girls ministered to his obsession for Rose Latouche, who is nearly 30 years his junior. Um, is it John Ruskin? I'm not sure. John Ruskin. It is. In a 1952 story, which enduring children's character is dragooned into wearing what he calls a green cataway costume for a village event? It's torn to rags by a Scotty and a Mastiff. 1950s. No, it's the OK. Just William. Just William. It is Just William, yes. <laughs> Right, another starter question now. Mentioned in the Avesta and the biblical book of Tobit, the city of Ray, known in Latin as Rage, was a predecessor of which populous world capital? It's located about 100 kilometres south of the Caspian Sea. Bristol Hosegood. Uh, Tehran? Tehran is correct, yes. <laughs> Right, your bonuses are on biology this time, Bristol. From the Greek for wave writer, what instrument consists of a revolving drum on which a pen moves, recording changes in various physiological measurements? A spirograph? No, it's a chymograph. Secondly, what does a sphygmomanometer measure? <laughs> Um, what does it mean? I don't, I don't think it is. Oh, yeah. Blood alcohol level. No, it's blood pressure. And finally, a myograph measures the force produced by contraction in what body tissue? The eye? No, it's muscle. Oh, Ten yeah. points for this. In the abbreviation HDL cholesterol, for what do the letters... Crystal hose good. High density lipoprotein. That's correct, or high density lipid. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on King Zog of Albania. <laughs> Firstly, for five points, after serving as president for several years, Ahmed Bey Zogu proclaimed himself King of Albania during which decade? 1930s. 1930s? No, it was 1920s, 1928 to be precise. Oh. Zog's regime drew heavily on the myth of which Albanian national hero, born in 1405? He's known in Turkish as Iskender Bey. I think it was any Albanian national hero. Alexander, but yeah. not Alexander the Great. Alexander the... King Alexander. <laughs> King Alexander. No, it's Skanderbeg. Zog went into exile in 1939 when Albania became a protectorate of which country? Italy. Italy, Italy is correct. Ten points for this. Of which artistic movement did Kenneth Clark say they did not set out to be popular? On the contrary, they became resigned to public ridicule. But in the end, they achieved a modest measure of success. Trinity Bayer. Pop art? No. Anyone like to buzz from Bristol? Bristol Hewitt. Impressionists. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on cosmology this time. In 1931... Which astronomer at the Catholic University of Louvain in Belgium published a paper on the primeval atom, usually cited as the first assertion of the Big Bang Theory? Oh, who's the Big Bang Theory? Oh, I should know that. Wait, what's the, what's the year, 1901? 
1913. Oh, right. No pass, sorry. That was Georges Lemaitre. Lemaitre later spoke of the vanished brilliance of the origin of the world. Patrick Moore likened this vanished brilliance to what form of radiation, known by the abbreviation CMB? Cosmic microwave background. Yeah. Cosmic microwave background. Correct. CMB radiation was discovered accidentally by the US scientist Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson during which decade? 1914, I don't know. 1940s? No, it's the 1960s. We're going to take a second picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see a political cartoon. For 10 points, I want you to identify the two figures depicted. Bristol Bowes. George III and Napoleon Bonaparte. That's correct. <laughs> that 1803 cartoon depicting George III as the king of Brobdingnag from Swift's Gulliver's Travels was by James Gilray who's been called the father of the political cartoon, as you know. For your bonuses, you're going to see three more of his cartoons. Firstly, who's the political figure depicted prominently here? Pitt the Younger. Pitt the Younger? That is Pitt the Younger. And secondly, who's the political writer and theorist depicted on the right? Britannia. Be riding the Britannia. <laughs> John Locke? No, it's Thomas Paine. He was often depicted as a corset maker <laughs> to discredit him. Finally, what event is depicted here? Some helpful wording has been nicely removed. Battle of the Nile. Yeah, the Battle of the Nile. Oh, no, sorry, uh, Battle of the Nile, yeah. It's yeah. The Battle of the Nile? It is the Battle of the Nile, the extirpation of the plagues of Egypt. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Though I am not naturally honest, I am so sometimes by chance. Which play by Shakespeare includes those words of the roguish Autolycus? Bristol Hewitt. Wind's Tale. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on European history, Bristol. In each case, give the century in which the named monarchs held power. Firstly, King Frederick II of Denmark and Norway, Charles I of Spain, and William the Silent of the Netherlands. Century. Yes, century. Fifteenth? No, it's the sixteenth century, the fifteen hundreds. Uh, secondly, King Philip VI of France, Peter I of Portugal, and Dmitry Donskoy of Russia. I just go? 17th? 17th? Yeah. 17th? No, that was the 14th century. And finally, King Gustav V of Sweden, Harkon VII of Norway, and Boris III of Bulgaria. The 20th? Correct. Four minutes to go, ten points for this. In physics, what seven letter term describes one of two or more atomic nuclei that contain the same number of neutrons for different. Bristol Hosgood. Isotone. Isotone is correct. These bonuses are on paradoxes, Bristol. The slower will never be overtaken by the quicker is one formulation of a paradox named after which Greek philosopher of the 5th century BC? Zeno. Correct. The Greek seer Epimenides is associated with the liar's paradox. This commonly refers to inhabitants of which island? Crete. Correct. I know that I know nothing. These words state a paradox usually named after which Greek philosopher who died in 399 BC? 399 over Socrates. Socrates? Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> the name of which country appears within words meaning underwater breathing apparatus and to keep ah. eggs warm? Bristol Bowes. Cuba. Cuba is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three bonuses on science, Bristol. What is the predominant geometric shape of cross-sections of the columns of basalt, such as those that form the giant's causeway? A hexagon? Correct. What is the sum of the internal angles of a regular hexagon? Seven twenty. Correct. 
The polar cloud of which planet has been observed to form a hexagonal vortex? Venus? No, it's Saturn. There are two minutes to go and ten points for this. Which alkali feldspar mineral appears on the Mohs scale of hardness? Trinity Petrie. Orthoclase feldspar. That is correct, yes. Your bonuses this time are on words or names that end in the letter I. In each case, give the word from the definition. All three answers have the same number of letters. First, the surname of the track athlete known as the Flying Finn. He won nine gold medals in the Olympics during the 1920s. Pass. That was Nuomi. Secondly, Chinese ideographs that are used in Japanese writing in addition to the kana syllabus. Kanji. Correct. Finally, a hoofed mammal with striped legs that's a close relative of the giraffe. Okapi. Correct. Ten points for this. Answer in English or German. Which loose association of 39 states was formed at the Congress of Vienna in 1815 to replace the Holy Roman Empire? Bristol Bows. Confederation of the Rhine. No, anyone want to buzz from Trinity quickly? It's the Deutsche Bund, or German Confederation. Ten points for this. Gondar, Mekele and Diridawa are among the cities of which African country? It's the world's most populous landlocked sovereign state. Bristol Hosgood. Nigeria. No, anyone want to buzz from Trinity? Trinity Dev. Ethiopia. Ethiopia is correct. <laughs> Nigeria is not landlocked. A bonus set of bonuses on monasteries for you. Referring to sections of monastic rules that were read aloud, what two-word term denotes a formal meeting room in a monastery? Pass. It's a chapter house. What six-letter term denotes the communal dining room of a monastery? It is also the Latin for brother. Frater. Correct. What is a rare daughter? The ruined priory of Castleacre in Norfolk, for example, has one of the best-preserved examples in England. Pass. They were lavatories. Ten points for this. Answer promptly with a single word. What is the second noun in the first line of Milton's Paradise Lost? Bristol Hosgood. Disobedience. Disobedience is correct. You get a set of bonuses. <laughs> and that the wrong Trinity College, Cambridge, have 95, but Bristol University have 230. Well, bad luck, Trinity. Um, you didn't disgrace yourselves, it's fine. Uh, Bristol, you were on fire. It's a terrific performance. We should look forward to seeing you in round two. I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Trinity College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Bristol University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>